Back at it again, guys. I am here at the airport, heading back home to Orlando. Just going to do a little quick trip down to Walt Disney World. I had a free flight. Things worked out. I'm just taking one day off work. That Finding Nemo mini event is going on, so I want to be there for the uh, pin releases. Uh, today's Thursday, July 26th. I'm just super happy I was able to do this. Beautiful day here today in Pittsburgh. Just got to the airport. It took me a while to find a spot here in the parking lot. Like 15 minutes going up and down. This must be a really busy week to travel. So luckily found a spot. Gonna go get my luggage now and head inside. I actually only have 40 minutes until I board, so I gotta book it. I'm just taking the little luggage for this trip. Got my Hollywood Tower Hotel luggage tag. Yeah, buddy. Time to go check in at Magical Express. Hey everyone, I just got on the Magical Express, heading to Pop Century. Hopefully, first stop because it is 8:18 right now. We had a quick flight down here, just a two-hour quick flight. But um, I, as soon as I get to my room, I just want to drop off everything, head straight to Disney Springs. Um, Barry uh, texted me this afternoon and said my room was ready, so I'm ready to go. I uh, have the map, so I'm just gonna head straight to my room, drop everything off, and then get the bus for Disney Springs. So one uh, quick thing I wanted to mention, um, a lot of people ask me how I'm able to travel uh, so frequently to Walt Disney World. Uh, there's just a couple quick things I wanted to mention. One, I'm an annual pass holder, so I get discounts on like hotels, merchandise, um, restaurants, so that makes it a little bit easier. Um, and the annual pass, I think, is like 850 for the year, and like my Pop Century room was, was 150 a night, so that wasn't bad at all. Um, you guys saw I've been staying at Coronado Springs a lot during construction. It was super cheap with the annual pass holder rate, so there's another thing. Um, and then also, when I fly, I always fly Southwest, you guys know that. They are the cheapest um, from Pittsburgh to Orlando. So just check your local airport and see, uh, you guys might have like American or Delta or United. Um, at your airport or maybe Southwest, um, but for me Southwest is the cheapest um, So I always fly with them like Casey Neistat said in one of his videos If you're gonna fly a lot always fly, you know with the one carrier You don't want to mess around with every bird in the sky because the more you fly with them the better they'll love you back So like, I get lots of points with Southwest. I actually have the Southwest credit card So every purchase I make is on that Southwest credit card. So I just rack up points like crazy. So this this flight for this weekend was completely free. And I actually have more waiting for me as well. I had enough points so far accumulated from this year with all of my bonuses and everything, I think for eight to 10 one-way flights. So like, it was pretty insane. So yeah, quick tips with Ryan. If you went to uh, travel a lot to Walt Disney World, those are just my tips. You know, fly a lot with the same carrier and try to get an annual pass if you can because it does help with the discounts. I brought my uh, flower and garden magic band for this trip, the fresh picked orange bird one. I really love this band a lot. It's got Mickey and Pluto there, the orange bird, like spaceship bird. Yeah. Everyone is really quiet right now on the bus. Like no one's talking. Just made it to pop, guys. Time to go run to my room. Here we go, guys. Just got to my room. 6233. Let's get in here, throw my bags down. New room? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. I'm not sure if all of the rooms here at Pop Century are refurbished now. I stayed in a, a few of them. I think the last time I was at Pop Century was actually for my New Year's Eve trip. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the last time, but it feels good to be back. Nice, clean room. I really do like the refurbished rooms here. I'm, I'm almost positive the whole resort is it's finished, but did you guys think I was staying at Coronado Springs again? <laughs> I think I stayed like Coronado three or four times so far this year. I could have actually went back to Coronado this trip for like the same exact price as Pop Century, like I said, because of that construction going on, the rates are lower, but um, I just wanted to switch it up. Different scenery. 
And I really do like Pop. It is my favorite value resort. I, I do love Pop. It is currently 9, 10 p.m. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just throwing my stuff down and I'm going straight out there to get on the bus to Disney Springs because I want to go get the Finding Nemo mini event pins. I'm going to do a separate video of that on the YouTube channel. So by the time you guys are watching this vlog, that video um, is already up. And I might just like shop around a little bit at Disney Springs. I'll bring you guys along with me. Let's go. We just got to Disney Springs, heading straight to Pin Traders. We made it, guys. It's 9.50. I think they close at 11. Here's a look at the limited edition pins. Like I said, I will have a video on the Finding Nemo Pacific. A specific video on the Finding Nemo pins. Still have the, uh, these were just released today. I'm definitely gonna get those. Got the jumbos. Here's the what's new section. All of the new open edition pins. Jack Skellington. Awesome uh, Toy Story there. A little mashup with Space Mountain. New Animal Kingdom Lodge. New one for Rock and Roller Coaster. Uh, another one there. This is another popular one. The Hitchhiking Ghost for uh, Toy Story and Haunted Mansion. New Polynesian Village Resort open edition pin. I love this Boardwalk Surrey Bike pin. So cool. And yeah. I just got a nice little haul at Pin Traders. Now I'm going to head across the bridge here and go to Paddlefish. Gorgeous night. Alright, just pulled a seat up here on the rooftop bar. Ordered a fancy Mai Tai. So nice up here. I just dug right in, but this is the crab ceviche. Comes with the chips here. It is so delicious. Here it is on the menu if you guys want to check it out. Right there. Oh yeah. Look how nice it is up here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, just leaving Paddlefish. Had a really good little snack there. Got the Mai Tai and that crab ceviche. Oh, it is so good. And uh, I think now I'm just going to cruise around. Maybe check out some stores. It's like 11 p.m. now, so a lot of stuff's closing. Um, so I might just head back to the hotel and uh, film the Finding Nemo pin video. Yeah. I just got a new pair of Sperry's. Alright, time to leave Disney Springs and head back to the resort. Pop Century is number one. That means I hardly have to walk. It's right here. That's nice. Whew. Long line though. Just got back to Pop Century. Here are the pins. Here's the Pop Exclusive pin. I think it's ten dollars. But yeah, I don't see Ellie's anymore. It used to be over here and now it's all alcohol. Heading to my room now in the 1970s section. So my room is in this building here. It's four floors. And down here in the center is the giant foosball table. And you have the three-wheeler, the big wheels there on the left. And on the right is a giant Mickey Mouse telephone. Yeah, there's the giant telephone and the huge foosball table. That's pretty cool. I love this Mickey Mouse telephone. I think it's massive. My room is up here on the second floor, so I'm gonna go take the stairs over here. So if you guys have never stayed at Pop Century, it's themed after pop culture from the 1950s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. And then they were supposed to build 
the 1900s, 10s, 20s, 30s, and 40s. But then after 9-11 happened, the travel industry went downhill and they just held off. And then it was repurposed for Art of Animation. So that's why those resorts are so close. Actually, I'm walking down here and out of my room and right across the lake is Art of Animation. Right back there. Right across that lake. But yeah, like I said before, I really like Palm Century. I think it's a nice resort. And I love that they just redid the rooms, made it more up to date. Ah, uh, I found my room. Look at that. I put Slicky Dog in the window. <laughs> I brought him from my last trip, uh, Toy Story Land trip. I brought him. Alright, here we are. Back home. Alright, guys, thank you for watching the vlog today day one of my little trip here for July 2018. I am going to film the Finding Nemo pins now for a separate video like I said here on the YouTube channel. So I'm going to do that and then probably edit it and then go to bed. It is currently, it's midnight right now. So I'm going to try to get all this stuff done real quick. I'm going to sleep in tomorrow and then go to Magic Kingdom for a little bit. And then in the evening I'm meeting up with Jen and Mark for Enzo's Hideaway. First time trying that restaurant so I'm really excited about that. So yeah, check back tomorrow for day two of this trip vlog. Thanks for watching. See you, everyone. Wow, they must know I love pillows. Yeah.